Coach, you guys uh, didn't win a faceoff in the in the second half, but managed to weather that run that they made and then pull ahead towards the end. What was the key to your guys staying composed and not letting that get to them? Well, you know, it's a 60-minute game. I thought we did a good job in the in the first half to be able to put ourselves in a position to weather a little bit of run. And uh, you know, they're a talented team. They have a very good faceoff guy, and I thought uh, you know we did a you know, pretty good job. And uh, when we had the opportunities in the in the second half, uh, in the fourth quarter, you know, our offense has been uh, playing very well and uh, got us some big timely goals at the end to allow us to win at home. Colby Kniss made that uh, huge save right off the bat in the game. Max mentioned that that sort of set the tone for him. What can you say about his ability to match that and play above? He had 11 saves and made a bunch of big ones, especially to halt their run in the fourth quarter. Yeah, there's no doubt. Uh, you know, he had a you know, couple big saves in the first quarter there to start it off, and and, uh, and obviously uh, I thought both goalies uh, competed extremely well. And uh, you know, certainly a big fan of Max, and uh, he certainly was uh, outstanding tonight and you know, down the stretch as well. You know, with a one-goal game, he had some great saves and uh, allowed us to uh, you know, win it on the offensive end. Nick Spillane's kind of the quarterback of their offense. He leads your team in points. He had seven last week. Against Johns Hopkins, you guys completely shut him out tonight. How was your defense able to do that? Well, because uh, Michael Rexrode's an All-American uh, captain for us, and uh, he's on a Torton watch list for a reason. So uh, he's certainly a talented player, and uh, yeah, I thought the whole defense did a great job. Uh, you know, our, our short sticks contributed not only on the ball and uh, on the defensive end, but you know, with some transition opportunities. You know, Devick is having an assist, and Chad with a goal. You know, Scarpello was great. You know, uh, competing uh, in the middle of the field with ground balls and, and helping us clear the ball with. Uh, first opportunities that we had so uh, you know I'm uh, very proud of the defense and uh, you know like I said it was a great team win you know kind of Veracruz stepping up with a big goal for us and uh, you know just uh, all around uh, great effort you know with the game plan and the 60 minute game. Ken Roland scores that goal to make it 10-8 and kind of halt their run just how big was that in terms of just stopping Penn State's momentum? Huge not, not only the goal to give us a two goal lead but also the timing of it too you know the clock was our friend and uh, that was a big goal for us and you know stop their momentum but also give us a little breathing room so we wouldn't have to, you know, be so, uh, you know, maybe tight uh, to get, uh, you know, we, we had some wiggle room a little bit so we can just uh, play our game and uh, the guys uh, did a great job. This, this game down the stretch was kind of similar to Maryland and Johns Hopkins, it's a really tight game. Just what was different about tonight that you guys were able to weather the storm and be able to, you know, hold well, on to a tight game? You know, I, you know, I thought we played a more complete game. And uh, you know, at the end, you saw we made some big plays. You know, Max made some big saves. The defense got some big stops. We cleared the ball. You know, and gave our offense uh, an opportunity. We won with the specialties. You know, uh, to, to be able to break, uh, you know, two dead ball doubles. You know, uh, I thought we did a good job playing a complete game, offensively, defensively, but with the specialties. I mean, man down was excellent. You know, stopping them and then uh, you know matching up and uh, you know weathering a, a, a extended uh, possession on their end. So uh, I thought uh, it was the uh, most complete game we've played and you know uh, we want to be playing you know individually and collectively as a whole you know this kind of lacrosse you know at the end of the season. When, at, oh, good. After very few scored, um, the horn kind of kept going for a while. You know, what, did you do anything different with the guys, or what, what were your thoughts? <laughs> no, it was basically an extended timeout. We had a chance to, you know, keep them focused on the game plan. You know, uh, you know, tough for, uh, you know, giving one up off a rebound in a, in a scramble situation with 11 seconds uh, would have been nicer to go into the fourth quarter with that uh, extra goal lead. But, uh, uh, but proud of the guys tonight. So they, uh, they got a great win over a, uh, you know, you know, 11th ranked team in the country. So, uh, you know, the Big Ten's a bear. You know. Uh, so, uh, you know, you got to come ready to play every week in the Big Ten. And, um, you, know, we're, uh, you know, we're in a good spot right now and uh, looking forward to getting healthy and, and having a great week as we travel to get ready for our next one on Saturday. Speaking of that next one on Saturday, sort of a, a playing game to the Big Ten tournament. You beat Ohio State, you're in. Um, how do you feel you guys are going to be able to yeah, you know, uh, well, you know, you know, they came here to, you know, put their stamp on something at Rutgers, and uh, with nine wins right now, uh, the playoffs start on Saturday. So uh, uh, right now, it's a, an opportunity for us to win in advance and keep moving on. So uh, uh, these seniors have been great. They've been great for uh, our program here at Rutgers, um, and they've, uh, you know, been fun to be around uh, on the field and in the locker room. So uh, I'm excited that they had the opportunity to, you know, get into the playoffs, and the playoffs start on Saturday. Awesome.